Well, joining me live now from Davos is Sir Martin Sorrell, Chief Executive of the global advertising group WPP. Uh, Sir Sorrell, many thanks uh, for joining me on this Good rather morning. chilly Good morning, morning from Davos. We just heard there from Axel Weber about what he thinks of David Cameron's EU proposal for a referendum. What do you make of it? Well, politically, I can understand uh, the Prime, Prime Minister's predicament. UKIP have taken about 16% of the vote in the polls. They've taken more from the Conservative Party than they have probably from Labour or the Lib Dems. Uh, so he's in a bit of a political predicament that he has to deal with. Uh, from a business point of view, from an economic point of view, it, it can't be good news. I mean, at the very best, if you want to put the best gloss on it, it's neutral. Uh, and at the worst, it's negative. Negative in terms of generating uncertainty. We have enough uncertainties, that's grey swans as I put it, Eurozone, Middle East, China hard soft landing, although that's receded, US deficit, dealing with the debt in, in the US, which is probably the biggest issue. Uh, and we've added a, a sort of fifth, and the Middle East of course is uh, unpredictable, but we've added a fifth grey swan uh, with the referendum. And remember, we've got two referenda actually, we've got one in Scotland as well, which adds even more to the uncertainty. But Basically, that EU referendum, somewhere between 2015 and 2018, just adds more uncertainty. Multinationals have got about $2 trillion sitting on their balance sheets. The thing we need to do, and Davos to this year is about growth and employment and how you get youth working, because 50% of the world's population under 27 uh, uh, don't have jobs. Uh, to get that moving, you've got to reduce uncertainty, not increase it. And that's the problem. So from a business point of view, not easy. We'd love to have the best terms. Uh, me, uh, just like anybody else, I'd love to have the best terms. Yeah. We welcome a referendum. But it's 2015-2018. Uh, we have an election in between. Too much uncertainty.